It is my distinct honor and pleasure uh, to welcome uh, His Royal Highness Prince Sultan bin Salman bin Abdulazi, President and Chairman of the Saudi Commission of Tourism and Antiquities, here to our university to spend time with us. His schedule is very, very busy, and uh, we could not be more pleased to be able to have our university community, particularly our, our, our number of our Saudi students who are here with us today, uh, to be able to participate in this exciting event. So with that, I'd like to ask Your Royal Highness to, to say a few words. Thank you. Uh, I start by saying, Salaamu Alaikum. And uh, it is a pleasure to be here. It is the first time for many, many years that I felt I really wanted to go back and be a student. Such a beautiful campus, a beautiful setting. Thank you very much for your welcome today. I would not have missed this chance for anything in the world to come back to a great university like this, to meet the people who have donated and the people who are studying here and to see these bright ideas coming to reality. Uh, we are here, of course, dressed like this because in Saudi Arabia, we not only talk about culture, we do culture. We are very proud of our heritage, our culture, and I thought we'd give you a taste of what we look like when we're back home, more or less. And I know the Saudi students here have been doing much of this while they're studying here. We're very proud to be uh, here showing a glimpse of what Saudi Arabia is about. It's one window that's just been opened only a couple of years ago to look at Saudi Arabia from a perspective that's never been really thought for about before a perspective of its heritage, its history, and its culture, and the great deep interaction that this country has had with other civilizations throughout its history. We're very proud to be the seat of Islam, and uh, also very proud that Islam came to a land that was not an empty void. Islam came to a land that is rich politically, economically, and culturally. And this exhibition, which I would like to invite you to visit, starting, I think, on Saturday, is something that really would give you an, a dimension of Saudi Arabia that you would never really believed existed. We're just in the tip of this trip of exploration to reinvent and to rediscover our country and, and really present it in a different way. We are, of course, the land of Islam, and we are the land of the largest economy and largest industrial nation in the region, and we are the land of development, and we are the land of, of people. Of course, we are also the largest producer of oil in the world, but that oil is, uh, is something that we are proud to, to say uh, is going to the good, hopefully. Uh, one indication is the number of students that you have now in the U.S., more than 80,000 students, Saudi students on scholarship, their families, their children, on, on uh, medical insurance, and uh, fully supported from the King Abdullah program, our great king, King Abdullah, is a man of vision, a man who believes in education. So Saudi Arabia today has probably the largest program ever in history anywhere in, in terms of its uh, complexity and in terms of its holicity to reinvent education. More than a third of the budget of Saudi Arabia, which is a big budget, is going to education. Grand universities are being built, being staffed, people like these young people, men and women of Saudi Arabia, are the future. And those people are going back uh, to really take their country to the next level for the future. Great universities are being built. Schools are being built by the thousands every month. And uh, a new way of looking at education is uh, becoming the, the, the place where to go in Saudi Arabia. We are very proud to be here. I'm not a, a stranger to, to this area. Never been in this place where the university is, which is a beautiful part of the of this of the country. But I've been in the United States for many, many years, and I come to Pittsburgh on three occasions and spend one time I spent more than five months on family uh, medical situation, and I've really thoroughly enjoyed being here and and enjoyed the company of the people in Pittsburgh. People of Pennsylvania are very strong people, very dedicated. I call this true America. You come here and you you get it the way it is. Uh, I have not, I've been a Denver Broncos fan for many, many years. I don't <laughs> hope this doesn't offend anyone. But I've really enjoyed watching the Steelers play. Didn't do very well last season, but uh, hopefully, uh, and of course enjoyed Roger uh, in his years when I was a student and used to watch him as a quarterback. 
It's even more fun to watch now as a commentator. <laughs> Anyways, uh, it is really a pleasure to be here today. Like I said, I would not have missed it for the world. And uh, we look forward to receiving some of these students coming back as graduates. Maybe I'll do a little bit of recruiting today because we are building now uh, in our country uh, really tens of museums and restoring uh, practically all the historic villages of Saudi Arabia. It's a new era in Saudi Arabia to retrieve the heritage that we have neglected or lost for so many years. Uh, soon we'll be announcing a major program with the name of King Abdullah on it to really uh, uh, pull a lot of resources into presenting the new heritage dimension of Saudi Arabia. So uh, we need people to come back and man and women these museums and these heritage sites and to really take our people, the Saudis. We have committed last week to uh, what I called open heart surgery. And being in Pittsburgh with these medical centers, I hope they don't mistake us of doing it actually physically. But it is a, a thing that I use to get people's attention. We said we're, we're going to have perform an open heart surgery to every young man and woman in Saudi Arabia and reinsert their country into their heart. And uh, we are committed, we have committed to transport more than a million Saudi students over the next three years to visit their own country, to see their own country. It is an experience that I see in the United States here. I really believe that, and I've seen this, Americans are people that I admire for enjoying their country, for believing in their country, for having so much pride in their country. So this is a great country, of course. This is almost a second home in, in my case, and I've always enjoyed uh, going around it. I just came from a, a very short trip to the Rockies where I enjoy very much flying and gliding and so on. And I would say uh, maybe I've seen more of this country than many, many people standing here. And I just don't mean the Saudi students. I mean the locals. <laughs> so it is a wonderful country. Our country is a wonderful country. Originally, our founder, King Abdulaziz, the founder of the modern Saudi nation, believed in the United States, this new star rising, uh, talking about the 30s, and uh, put a lot of stake in the relationship between Saudi Arabia and the United States. And his meeting with President Roosevelt, which resulted in basically launching a major relationship with the United States, which lasted until today, that meeting has been uh, the grounds whereby all leaders of Saudi Arabia have been building on. Saudi Arabia and the United States enjoy uh, a fantastic relationship based on mutual interest and respect. And uh, these are two great nations. This is the largest nation, the, one of the, great, the greatest nation in the world. And Saudi Arabia is the seat of Islam and the largest economy in the region. And uh, we meet on these meeting points. And hopefully, as we go forward, we meet in making peace in a very turbulent Middle East. Thank you very much for your welcoming today. And I look forward to meeting some of the people here today. Thank you.